A peace and positive reflections, good energy to all. So in this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about some of my ideas um, concerning, um, well, my idea on, on cultivating the moment is what I like to call it. Um, and cultivating the moment is, you know, cultivation is to bring something to partition, is, is to build it up, is to, uh, you know, find a set of guidelines or practices or principles and continue upon them, you know, and to build with them. And then this turns into cultivation, you know, and that's what builds cultures. You know, you cultivate things to grow them up. You cultivate crops and, and they grow up. So this is pretty simple, basic knowledge. And, you know, I mean, that's exactly what America is. It's a giant, you know, culture, corporation, whatever you want to call it, um, of practices and principles. And all of these different practices, principles, routines, behaviors, ideas, groups, organizations, jobs, you know, it's colleges, I mean, it goes on and on and on and on. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I mean, this all has, this all has an effect. All of these things that we are performing, they all have different effects on our bodies and on the earth. And, you know, and then there's the energy field that is invisible to these eyes and to most human beings um, as far as their ability to perceive it, but it's always there. And we're always interacting with this, um, whether we know it or not. So this is important because, you know, a lot of these routines that we do every single day, they have an energy residue with them. And because we human beings have been doing these type of rituals for so many years without knowing anything different, we've become subdued by them. We've become subdued by them and we don't even know any different. It's like when you, you, it's like when you continue to fall down a hole, you just get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper down and things just continue to get darker and darker and darker and your ability to see or your, 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 your ability to reach to the surface is continuing to become harder and harder as you continue to plunge. And that plunge all has to do with your, you know, I mean, I'm using it metaphorically, but this plunge is, is a plunge of awareness. Essentially, it's, it's us human beings, you know, coming to a point of great technology and, and information and awareness. Um, and with that, there is the good and the bad. There is the, the luxuries and the pleasures and the conveniences that these technologies cater to us and are convenient and we indulge in them. And... This is good, you know, it's all for good experience and, you know, a lot of, there's a lot of good memories and moments that we experienced and then there's a lot of painful moments that we experienced and even, even the painful ones, once we begin to learn from them and, you know, we learn the lessons from them, then they're not so painful anymore and they're actually can be seen as just necessary ingredients to complete um, a cycle or a lesson for that matter and it just becomes an actual essential ingredient to something good. So, again, that's another way to perceive the pain that you're going through as an ingredient to gain. And if you look at the words pain and gain, they're, they're very similar, uh, for good reason, I think. So, anyway, I know I kind of got a little off tangent, but this video I just wanted to make, uh, just kind of get going uh, my energies into really discussing some of my personal ideas on, you know, what it would look like if, you know, somebody like me or a collection of people with a similar mind got together and, you know, were able to acquire some land and begin, you know, because you know, I'm not, you know, there's so much talk about, you know, getting land and growing fruit on it and, you know, sleeping on it, not having to work these jobs and all this and that. And that's good and dandy and all, but that's, that's not everything. Like, you know, I feel like there's so much emphasis on just that, on just the eating, on just getting away from, I mean, just getting away from the cities and back to nature. But there's a whole other element there that I think is extremely important that, I haven't found anybody else really hit hit the like I haven't found anybody else who really sees it with my type of um, seriousness because it's really important and it's just about work it's work therapy I really think that it's not just therapy either it's literally I mean work is good for the human character we men were built to work you know we've got muscle we have more muscle mass than women you know we've got logical brains we like to problem solve I mean <clears throat> we're workers man that's what we do, and a lot of the times, we. I mean, I know myself. I feel good about myself when I'm making videos, or when I'm doing work, or when I'm helping people out. I mean, these are things that 
are not only good for our soul, but they're actually good for the environment. So my thing really is, I really want to help create or be a part of an organization that is very work-based. You know, I really want us to stay, I really want to be a part of something that is, is very disciplined. It's very much like the military. And if you look at the military, there's not that much free time. You know, when they do have their free time, it's, it's that much more valuable because they don't have much of it. And also it's, you know, when they do have it, it's, it's that much more special because, you know, they live their life every day on the edge of getting killed and all this and that. And that, that, that's a bit of extreme, but it's a similar formula that I want to incorporate into the community that I'm imagining in my mind. You know, some type of a very similar discipline, maybe not so disciplined, but, but similar. You know, it's where every, you know, practically every day you've got set chores and daily routines and practices and, and duties that you have to complete that are a part of your responsibilities. This is what it is. It's about being, bringing back self-responsibility. Because I think as a whole and as an individual, human beings have lost their good sense of responsibility. You know, I'm not saying that we're not responsible. We're responsible for a lot of Babylonian things. We're actually extremely responsible when it comes to the lower self. But when it comes to the higher self, you know, we've, we're having trouble being responsible in those areas. So I really feel like bringing back programs and inventing programs and, and experimenting with programs because I don't know exactly what what programs are going to work and I mean there's so many different methods and tools and arts and music and paints and aromatherapy that Zen Atman brings up and I really want to talk with him some more and see what his ideas on that because I think I know for my for me like when I smell flowers or any type of a fresh fragrance you know out in nature it's it is extremely invigorating and inspiring in a good way like it just makes me feel good and it, not only does it make me feel good but i feel like it's really good for my body like i feel like it's cleaning out toxins i feel like it's in it's helping to bring about more goodness and love inside of my being and you know so it's really important and the aromatherapy thing i mean <clears throat> smells are all about your hues which is all about your energy so you know i'd love to incorporate that but that's just one element i mean there's just you know they're learning to cook your own food i'd even like to you know i don't see i don't see why there's anything wrong with opening up you know some type of a, a spiritually based you know organic vegan restaurant you know if you're able to grow your own food um you know and have your own land then why not you know share that with the public and also you know create an exchange system so that you can start to be able to to really help share you know the area and the feeling of your project in a way to where people can come and they can see but they don't have to totally dive in like they can get a good like just from dining at a restaurant you get a good um you can absorb a good amount of the atmosphere so i, I think that possibly having some type of a restaurant or some type of a um, an idea like that on the actual land and then you can also provide jobs for people coming in to live on the land in the restaurant and, and these people that would be Working in the restaurant, they would have to be, you know, they would have to be in good accordance with the guidelines of your camp, so like everybody would be on the same frequency, because that's really what is I love about carbonation and, and you know following the righteous way. I mean, not only is it the right thing to do and gets you into heaven and you feel better, but it's also just from a um, from a standpoint of production, it's very very effective. Like the military, they get stuff done, man. They build things. Like there's reason why there's rules and guidelines to follow because it helps us get things done. So like if you were able to open up some type of a restaurant or business or something like that that catered to a higher vibrational spirituality and fed people good organic foods as well as introducing them to an alternative lifestyle i think that could be really good you know and that could be really good um you know it's just an idea it's something that's been i've been playing around in my head for a while now so i just thought i'd share it with you too and uh <laughs> you know uh, kind of go from there and, and i also want to just get more like i know this is just me kind of being exuberant and jovial with the idea and this is what helps to create uh, motivation to help me really get knit and gritty into the details of how it's going to look and then i can start to share that with you guys so you can start to see from a more specific standpoint how the little intricate details will kind of link up together you know then you'll get a better view of the overall pattern you know which is what everything is about is about patterns so um, anyway uh with that being said i think for right now i'm gonna shut this video down and just say that i love myself and uh, good energy to all, and organize a good day. All right, bye. -bye.